Okay. On behalf of the organizing committee, we would like to thank you so much for your participation and contribution to our annual convention success. We are Linh Thị Mai Anh and Phung Thanh Loan at the presentations moderators. We are delighted to see all of you in light of the virtual present today, especially in these three convention sessions. We do hope that all of you will be able to have some valuable knowledge and experience as takeaway following the talk. Before the presentation, there are a few considerations. In case you have any questions or concerns about the presentation, please feel free to leave them in the chat box so that we can gather the question for easy to respond in the five to 10 minutes QA session. We gladly welcome our presenters, Associate Professor Dr. Ha Le Kim An, Dr. Nguyen Thu Le Hang, Dr. Nguyen Thị Thơm Thơm, and Ms. Phan Thị Thanh Bình. In this free convention session, what is entitled When Teaching and Learning Become a Happy Journey with Transformative Experiences? About our presenter, we are very honored to have Associate Professor Dr. Ha Le Kim An. Dr. Ha Le Kim An is the Vice President of University of Languages and International Study, Vietnam National University in Hanoi, and especially in BA program curriculum development and syllabus design. And we're also very pleased to introduce to you Dr. Nguyễn Thu Lệ Hằng. She's a senior lecturer and has a fast track BA honor program, Faculty of English Language Teacher Education, University of Languages and International Study, Hanoi, Vietnam. Uh, we are also pleased to introduce to you Dr. Nguyễn Thị Thâm Thâm. Dr. Nguyễn Thị Thâm Thâm has been national study, Vietnam National University in Hanoi since 2001. And last but not least, let me introduce to you Ms. Phan Thị Thanh Bình. Ms. Thanh Bình has been a lecturer at the University of Languages and International Study, Vietnam National University, Hanoi since 1996, and she's the head of the divisions of literature at the Department of Language and Culture of English speaking country. So please welcome Associate Professor Dr. Ha Le Kim An, Dr. Nguyễn Thu Lệ Hằng, Dr. Nguyễn Thị Thâm Thâm, and Ms. Văn Thị Thanh Bình, please. Thank you, Ms. Phung, uh, Phung Loan. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our section. And uh, now we want you all of you to join uh, with us uh, in the check-in activity. So are you ready? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, you know, uh, we are now we are uh, from everywhere in Vietnam or maybe some people maybe in, uh, uh, in the other country maybe. Uh, so now we uh, we check in the weather. Uh, how about the weather outside uh, in your uh, place now? Um, for me, uh, now I'm uh, sitting in my office uh, in uh, University of Foreign Languages and International Studies uh, in uh, Kozai District, Hanoi. And the weather now, you know, Hanoi is uh, the autumn now, and uh, the weather is uh, a little cold and uh, windy, yeah. And uh, um, I think autumn is uh, the uh, most beautiful uh, season in Hanoi and I enjoy this uh, weather very much. Yeah, so it is now, I think it is uh, uh, a little uh, sunny and uh, windy and very beautiful. Yeah, so can you tell me uh, how about uh, the weather outside uh, in your place? Uh, you can uh, tell us uh, in the chat box, okay? Yeah, Nguyễn Thu Lệ Hằng, cloudy in your area. Yeah, thank you. Other participants, can you share? Oh, Laos, uh, we have uh, one uh, par uh, participant in Laos. The weather in Savannakhet, Laos is now cloudy and windy. A nice weather, mm, you love it, yes. Strong winds outside uh, your window, Bing. 
Yeah, it's hot now from Team Lika. Thank you. Hương Nguyễn, windy, cloudy and cold. Yeah. Thơm Trần, nice and cold in Lâm Đồng. Yeah. And uh, Thanh Loan is sunny in Vũng Tàu. Thank you. Windy and cool. Yeah. Uh, Vinh City is the same as Hanoi. Thank you, Mang. And it's rainy now from Cambodia. Oh, from Bini, Bunny. Thank you. And uh, Sran Lao uh, Bitek to everyone. It's cloudy there. Yeah, thank you for your sharing. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, so uh, the weather outside, uh, you know, it is maybe sunny, maybe rainy, maybe windy, maybe uh, cloudy. Yeah. Yeah, and the autumn, you can see the picture uh, in the right. This is the picture I took in uh, Ireland uh, from two years ago in the autumn, very beautiful autumn in Ireland, when I have a business uh, um, journal in uh, Ireland uh, two years ago. So uh, the autumn in Hanoi make me remember uh, the journey very much. Yeah, so uh, we just check in the weather outside and now I want uh, all of you to check in the weather inside you. Uh, maybe you will have many uh, uh, emotion, many uh, feeling uh, in uh, this uh, afternoon. So can you share uh, your feeling, uh, your inside weather with uh, all of us? Yeah, for me, it is uh, a little nervous because uh, my English is not uh, so good. So I'm a bit uh, nervous to uh, speak English with everyone in this very important uh, section, yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm very happy uh, to be here uh, to share my ideas and uh, to, to listen to, um, to all of you, yeah, and learn uh, from, I think, many things uh, from all of you. Yeah, so for me, the weather inside me is nervous and happy. Yeah. So, y'all, uh, excited, positive, and joyful. Thank you. Uh, I, I, uh, I hope I can uh, spell uh, your name. I can speak well your name. Kona uh, Sak, yeah, Hương Nguyễn. And Janice, yeah, thank you. Hang, uh, your inner weather is warm and sunny. Uh, you feel excited to share with you our journey, yes. Thơm Trần, uh, happy and excited about the topic. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your sharing. And I really want to know the feeling uh, from other participants. Can you share? Yeah, my I love the topic. Yeah, I hope you will uh, have a, a joyful time with our uh, speaker this afternoon. New Queen, excited when you are taking part in the workshop. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Team Lee Ka, excited with the topic. Yeah, thank you. Oh, Thảo Lương, uh, delighted and excited to learn about this topic. Yeah, ciao so many. Uh, you're happy and nervous. Yeah, same to me, I'm nervous. Yeah, happy and nervous. Yeah, Minh Hạnh, uh, happy when you see my smile, yeah. Thank you, Ming Hai. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for your sharing. Yeah. So now uh, we can uh, we can link uh, the outside, uh, the weather outside, and uh, the weather inside for a view. And uh, we hope uh, we um, take uh, our time of uh, this afternoon together. And uh, we are present here uh, sharing our ideas and uh, we learn from each other uh, in this afternoon. Yeah, thank you for uh, your um, support in uh, my activity, uh, checking uh, activity. So now I would like to introduce uh, all of you, the Dr. Nguyễn Thu Lệ Hằng. Uh, she will share uh, with you the main ideas of this topic uh, this afternoon. Yeah, please, Nguyễn Thu Lệ Hằng. 
Thank you, Associate Professor Halek Mang. Uh, don't worry that your English is not uh, so good because your Chinese is perfect. I cannot speak any Chinese words. So. Uh, okay, we are happy to, uh, to read your comments in the chat box that you are excited and you uh, love the topic and you are interested in our topic this afternoon. And we do hope that um, this afternoon we will um, uh, provide you with something different from the, e the usual topic that you um, often find in the, an international conference um, for language, uh, uh, linguistics, language and language teaching. Okay, so let me uh, share my screen. Uh, before I share my screen, um, let me um, let me say something about uh, our um, our afternoon. So um, in this afternoon, we will um, talk to you and share with you about the journey that that we have been through um, since twenty twenty. So almost two years now in this project. Um, the journey that we have been through and, and um, why we have been um, engaged in this uh, project and um, the benefits that we, uh, we have gained from this project that makes, makes us um, feel the need to share and spread um, to other colleagues uh, so that each of us will be a happy teacher and our classroom will be a happy um, environment for our learners, for our students. Mm, so this afternoon, uh, we will walk you through um, our course that we developed, but also the, the template, the structure of this afternoon is similar to the template of one of the lessons in our course. So that um, um, uh, Associate Professor Haleki Mang has just um, done one activity we call check-in activity that the very first activity that we often do in our um, our teaching of this course so we have uh, several different um, check-in activities and um, your check-in your inner weather is only just one of them and if you listen to my presentation in this con uh, in this co conference um, tomorrow afternoon um, you will uh, get to know more activities for the check-in Parts. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Hang Nguyen, can you open your mic? Oh, okay, because my son, he just entered the room and you need to mute me. Thank you, Lan. Okay, so this is um, my slideshow. All right, so um, the title of uh, this part is um, Normally in, in a lesson in our course, uh, there's one part called um, core theory. So this, my part is this part, core theory. After the check-in activity, we will have a core theory part. So in this part, I will walk you through the, the training course that we developed. And it's a, actually a journey that we have been through. Emotional intelligence and social communication um, uh, and our journey is building a happy community and Julius. So first of all, let me introduce to you about our course. Um, the title of the course is Emotional Intelligence and Social Communication. Um, the reason why we developed this training course uh, is that as I have just shared with you, we, um, we formed a community um, in, uh, from the beginning of 2020, we form uh, a community um, and we, um, we study mindfulness and we practice um, um, mindfulness and apply mindfulness in, into education and life. And we organize several talk shows um, about this topic. And then we realized the need to um, develop in ourselves as educators and teachers and also in our students, our learners. 
the ability to you know em to have empathy helps to develop the inner power the inner strength so that we can live um, happily uh, and we can cope with the external um, factors uh, threats and challenges especially uh, during covid-19 um, with the um, the social distancing and all the negative news that we uh, like we are we have been bombarded with all these um, negative news so how can we stay calm and continue doing what we should do um, to fulfill our our job as educator and and, and uh, keep the learning going for our students. So that's the reason why we developed this course for our, uh, our students and for ourselves first, for, to build up a, a happy community first. So the outcome, the expected learning outcomes of this course is um, we have three main outcomes. The first one is to develop self-awareness and self-management. The second one is to practice and enhance empathy for true connection with other people that we come into contact with and we interact with. And the third outcome is to practice and develop a mindful lifestyle in order to live in harmony with our family, friends, community, and the natural world. So with these uh, three expected learning outcomes, we design our course, um, uh, which consists of 11 sessions uh, into three modules, module one, module two, and module three. Okay, so let me introduce briefly the three modules. As you can see, the first uh, expected outcome is to develop self-awareness and self-management. That means, you know, you identify your own self and you develop, um, we learn to, to manage ourselves. Okay, so the name of this, this module is to um, a, is a self identification and self awareness and self management. Uh, we name it as Chen Gui Hiet Tai. And this module, there are four, um, four uh, sessions in this module. The first one is to um, like course orientation course orientation, and we name it because all the values, um, the positive values in our lives, we were born with those values, but our work and, and our study, and, you know, everything in life, um, make it so busy and involved in those things, and some, some, sometimes we forget about our, our true values that we have, we were born with, so it's time to start, you know, um, opening again these sources of love. Um, and the second session is Hiu Ming De Tung Wing. It means you know yourself so that you can love and have empathy for yourselves, is self awareness. And session three and session four are about um, um, recognizing, identifying your emotions and learning to. Um, to manage your emotions, to nurture the good emotions and transform the negative emotions so that uh, you will not have to suffer from your own feelings. So uh, the Vietnamese name is Hiu Vê Chai Tim, Um Up Chai Tim, so that's model one. And model two, model one is about self-awareness and self-management. Then model two is about how you connect with the people around you, the community around you, family, friends, and community around you. And we name it Lắng Nghe Để Hiểu, Nhìn Kỹ Để Thương, is um, um, listen, uh, listen deeply, uh, listen with compassion and look deeply with compassion so that we can understand clearly people around us. We can have empathy for them. So we have three sessions in this um, module. The first one is using our eyes like observation skills. Se the, the second one is uh, listening skills. And the third one is turning uh, your love, your empathy into action. So you can see the Vietnamese name here. Mắt thương nhìn cuộc đời is about your eyes, okay. getting input through your eyes. Um, lắng nghe với lòng từ ái, getting input from your ears. And um, gửi tình thương cho nhau, turning your love and your empathy into action. Okay, It's from your heart. So from your eyes, from your ears, and from your heart, learning to um, optimize all your senses so that you can 
understand deeply about other people before you can love them. The third module uh, that we can live a balanced life, live in harmony with other people and with the world around us, and we name it Hiu So Thương Lớn, is um, Hiu and Thương. It's very uh, important um, lessons here is you know, understand and uh, understanding and loving. So we have four uh, sessions here. Um, Tình Thương Đích Thực, in this, uh, we will um, focus on um, building true love in, in uh, each person and true love for others um, in um, Buddhism and mindfulness. It's a tư bi, lòng tư bi. And um, the, ses um, the ninth session is because um, we understand that we, uh, we, um, we, we exist in a connection with others and we, we are a part of the universe and, and all the elements in the universe can be found in each of us. So the Vietnamese name is Ta Thay Minh Chong Nhau or in the Buddhism um, uh, mindfulness language is um, Tương Tức and Tương Nhập. Uh, the 10th session is um, how we, uh, we apply all the knowledge uh, throughout the course and build up your inner strength, inner power so that you, you can stay calm in, uh, you know, in any weather uh, when coping with all the um, negative um, factors from outside and we, we can survive, we can develop, keep going. Like um, we name it, so be a river just flow and that's the 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 10 sessions of um, of the, the course um theory and practice the final session session 11 is um the final pitching by the students so the students will work in groups and and present their lessons and re their reflective um learning from the whole course uh, and we name it hành trình ra biển lớn journey to the sea okay so that's briefly the, the structure of our, our course. And as you can see here is a template of a lesson, like we have a check-in. So associate professor Kim Mang uh, did this with you, check in your inner weather. And the core theory is my part. And then we can have a mindful activity. Uh, this afternoon is um, um, maybe drinking, a mindful drinking and mindful um, listening to music in a different way, in a mindful way. And then we have a book review session. So Miss Thanh Bing will um, conduct the book review session. For the inner, uh, Miss Bing will conduct the book review and also the mindful drinking with you. And then uh, Dr. Tom Tom will work with you in the inner piece. It's actually a, a mindfulness practice session uh, followed by a circle sharing so that you will share with each other your uh, reflections after um, this um, afternoon session. And before the wrap up, we have another activity. It's a mindful activity. It's listening to music in a mindful way. So Associate Professor um, Kim Ang will come back and, and, and share with you um, a very nice song. Uh, and we don't have a homework today. So mainly this is the template of a lesson that we conduct um, in our, our course. Assessment for this course is participation, 30% book review. The students will do book review, not, not the teachers. Um, and we provide them with a list of books to read and they will review. And all these books relate to the, the theory of each um, session. Reflection, after each ses session, students will write their reflection um, about how they, they apply the, the theories um, taught in that lesson and relate to their own um, life experience and, and, and learn from that reflective learning. And finally, teach um, uh, the journey to the sea, 30% um, of, of this program, okay. So now I will move on to talk about the highlights of the course, um, the things that make the course um, you know, unique and, and, and different to other um, experiences. As I often share with my colleagues that I, I'm grateful for this opportunity to join in this uh, designing team. Um, I think that um, 
for uh, for a teacher's lifetime, this is a, a once in a lifetime of a teacher's teaching life that we can have this opportunity to work with um, such a group of you know engaging and and inspiring and um, self motivating uh, teachers, um, of course designers, and and develop something like this course to offer to our not only our students, but our colleagues, our teachers as well. We have done several talk shows um, for teachers in other universities under Vietnam National Universities and other universities in Hanoi already. And we hope that we will be um, uh, offering more talk shows via the Unis um, Connect um, platform. Uh, okay, let me continue um, to talk about the highlights of the course. Our course is developed uh, based on several underlying theories. And the most important one is emotional intelligence by Daniel Goleman. Um, these are the five components of um, Daniel Goleman's uh, framework of emotional intelligence, self-awareness, self-management, motivation, empathy, and social skills. So in our module one, we will help our students develop this self-awareness and self-management. In module two, uh, empathy and connection, we will help them develop this empathy or another word for this is social awareness and social skills. And another word for this is um, relationship building and relationship management. So in model two, we will help them with these. And in model three, uh, we've enforced um, this social skill relationship building and also motivation that means help them um, recognize and identify the factors that can motivate them to move on in their life. The next um, set of theories that we apply is psycholo psychological theories in identifying and managing emotions. Um, we are very lucky to have two experts in, um, in this field, psychology, uh, in our university who joined the designing team and, and, and we learn a lot from these two um, experts and two teachers, two lecturers. Mm. We, apply also communication skills, uh, mainly observing and listening. But um, for this course, um, we, we find it very interesting that we can look and at observing and listening as two core, uh, two core sets of skills, but from um, a more, um, more multi-dimensional you know, um, dimension, not, not just, for example, listening, we don't just look at listening as um, the three levels of uh, listening um, to get the message, listening to get um, to understand the, the, the motivation of the others and listening to understand the emotions of feelings of the others. But we, we upgrade listening to a higher level. That means we listen not just from our ears, but also from our heart from, our, from our, our heart as well, and using our mind to process so that we can totally be, you know, be a, a listener with, in, with compassion for others. So the communication skills, we, uh, we will apply these uh, from psychological and social perspectives. And the special thing about this course is we apply theories from Buddhism and mindfulness, and we uh, we use books uh, uh, which are officially published by uh, Zen Master Thich Nhat Hai or by uh, Hemin, the Korean one, and Tang Ming Liu, and in others. And we also um, use relevant contents and extracts from international extracts from. <laughs> international and Vietnamese literature, poetry, and films. We review films as well in this program. All the books, are poet, uh, poems, and films that contain inspiring messages that we will um, review for our students. Okay, so um, the next highlight of the course is uh, its structure and flow. Um, as I have shared with you that our course has uh, three modules and the three modules consist of thematic sessions that assist the learning and the practice of the learners. 
thanks to the cohesive and coherent flow from individual in module one to team and community in module two and to the outer world, the bigger world, the region, the world, and our mother earth. So well, we talk about protecting the environment as well in this um, course. And each session has a reinforced structure covering core theory, practice and sharing, mindful activities and reflective learning. So it's, uh, um, it makes the lesson, you know, it, it has a flexible vibe and, and, and a dynamic vibe. So we don't follow exactly this, the same order, but we may mix, um, change the order of the activity so that anytime our students um, can, you know, have a different, um, look at the course from a different angle. And, and it's, it's so interesting. And, you can never get bored in this course. Um, whoops. No, I'm still. Whoop. Okay. Um, and um, the next thing that makes um, the course structure and flow um, manageable and, and accessible for the student is that our tasks and activities are diverse and engaging promoting um, deep learning, co-creation, experiential learning, reflective practice, creativity, and especially personalized learning, which is the thing that can keep our, learner, keep our students with us, but they don't go away because of these personalized learning experiences. Okay, so next I will share with you the products of um, some samples that my our students uh, did in their courses. So these are the reflections that they did uh, after each uh, learning day. It can be uh, in handwriting form or you know using canvas or notes down like in Word, but and or make it beautiful. Um, we encourage our students to reflect right after, during each lesson and right after each session, um, they can make in the form of raw data. And, and towards the end of the course, they will use um, you know, any fancy tools like Canva or, or PowerPoint, or even uh, make a, a, a clip, a video clip about the journey that they have been through but they need to reflect daily after the course to, to, as you can see, that they don't doubt about simple things like reading, relics, and um, the, the small happiness moment that they can have with the neighbors. So they learn to appreciate moments when they get uh, a joyful moment, a happiness, um, a, a gift from others, or they, they they did something nice to themselves, to others, how they solved their problems with their friends, for example. So this is a small things, but all the bits and pieces will, you know, combine and have impact afterwards. And the, these are, this is a, a sample book review of um, a group they they uh, they review books uh, in groups and in this group we we like we really like the concept that they review a book but they make it like a restaurant and so they have different roles of the people in the group the members like manager or chef or you know vice chef or waitress and then they have um, menus for for the book review. And let me walk you through the book review. So creative. And this is the, the Hemin, it's um, Master Hemin. And also their reflection. This is the important part of the book review, like the, the reflective learning after reading the book. So they presented each of them will have their own way to uh, reflect and relate and apply what they have read into their lives. Okay, finally, 
I will share with you a special um, highlight of our course, which is it is a product of design thinking. The development of this course has witnessed three iteration loops of design thinking. Um, as um, many of you have um, been familiar with design thinking of Stanford design thinking process from empathy to define idea, prototype and test. So we design our course following this uh, design thinking process. Um, after we conduct uh, conducted empathy and define our problem, the need to, to design such course for our the students and colleagues as well. We ideate of uh, coming up with a, a three modules course like this and gradually the designing of the course, we enjoy this, but it's it's a hard work and, um, and I'm, I'm grateful for my colleagues in the designing team that they contributed so much efforts and time and energy into the designing of this course. We had um, so many um, meetings, uh, you know, through noons or, you know, until 11.30 um, at night to talk and to modify, adjust, so that we can come up with um, the product that I have shared with you. And the three uh, loops, the first time after designing the course, we conducted a pilot among the team ourselves uh, from 6 a.m. in the morning, which is so hard for me because I'm, I'm not an early bird. So it's so hard for me to just get up early and, and enjoy this pilot from 6 a.m. until sometimes 10 a.m., which is a long time, to, um, to run the session and then discuss about how we can do it better, what's wrong with this and what is good about that, things like that. So we conducted the pilot of learning team and then we conducted the second pilot, but it's also a training for newest teachers and staff. Um, I remember that we had a group about up to, for some sessions, it's up to 50, 60 people, but normally about 35 to 40 staff joining our training programs and we learn from them. I, what I really like about our experience is that not just the, the, the designers, but all the, the lecturers, the teachers, but also we learn from our participants and we learn from our students. And the current loop uh, is running now. We are in the middle of this loop is that the team teaching of three classes for students who are ULIS ambassadors. So this is um, a, a privilege that we offer to our ambassadors. Um, normally, uh, our course, uh, would, each class will have only one lecturer, as you know, normal. But um, for the, these uh, ambassadors, they can enjoy um, um, the lessons with a team of from three to four, sometimes five lecturers, which is, I think, a bless for them. And we, as I have shared with you, we have conducted several talk shows for teachers and students from different universities uh, using parts of our course module. So we conducted like some white books, but um, means uh, live, living um, happily, mindfully in a crazy life and thấu cảm thầy cho thời COVID, you know, um, teachers empathy for learners during COVID time. Okay, finally, um, our concluding remarks. Uh, emotional intelligence and social communication is a new course that has been designed in an innovative way. We are so proud of ourselves. I cannot imagine that we can come up with such a, a, a product in integrating social science and humanity, life lessons and values. Um, our course is different from any other course in the market now in Vietnam. I can, you know, I'm confident to say so because of the way we integrate theories and practice into our course. It's not about theories, emotional intelligence. It's not about mindfulness um, or, or meditation as many courses 
um, our course is different. Um, it is a signature initiative in combining mindfulness and emotional intelligence. You first of all build up a happiness community among teachers and students, practice concentration and inner power, enhance empathy and love towards the development of a mindful lifestyle and a happy life. So this is the, the um, ultimate outcome of our program is for our students, I think that we just um, kickstart their awareness of, of, of all these things because in order to develop and have a mindful lifestyle, it takes a lot of time and energy and patience and practice to keep going. But we want them to realize the values, the benefits that they can have by practicing mindfulness um, why learning about emotional intelligence and social communications. Because in the end, any of us would like to live a happy life and we don't need to wait until we have achieved something big to be happy. Happy happiness can start from here and now. Yeah. yeah. This is a quote that we, um, uh, one of these quotes that we often share with our students during the lessons, like every day you are growing into the best version of yourself, the best you the world has seen. Treasure to every you there is in the in-between. So such nice and inspiring message. Uh, one of the things, the beautiful things that we often share with our colleagues and students. And just remember to breathe and be here and now with us this afternoon. Don't uh, just um, worry about the future when we can come back to you know, offline teaching again or, you know, feel regret about the past and this year, uh, 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 this time last year, we were traveling to these and that places to Luang Prabang at uh, this time last year. No, be here. We can find happiness here and now. Okay, so that's um, my, my part on the theory that I um, share with you about the journey that we have been through. What is um, developing this program and and it's still we we this is the um the first the first the initial stage in our life of developing a mindful lifestyle okay um next i would like to introduce and invite miss tangling who will um uh offer you a, a very nice experience of uh, drinking, my food drinking, and then a book review. Uh, she will review the book, A Search Inside Yourself, is one of the core books that were in our program that our students will need to read and, and review as well. Okay. The stage is you, yours, Lin. Thank you, Dr. Le. Um, I just was feeling thrilled when I listened to your development of the, your description of the loops of the stages that we went through. And I recall the early mornings and the late evening sessions, we worked like crazy. And I cannot imagine me being so crazy in work. And then after the work is done, I just was crazily in love with the product. And the more we work together, the more we, we love ourselves. And I cannot imagine what version of me uh, that I can see and the world can see 10 years from now, because just one year into the process of um, building up the cost together, I find myself a much better version of myself. And I love every new version of myself. And I love every new version of the cost as well. From uh, the first meetings, until the first pilot, a new version, and the second pilot, an excellent version, and the present version is beyond words. <laughs> um, I'm just so proud of the team and so proud of um, 
of the cause. And I think it is my privilege to be in a privileged cause, just like Dr. Le Hang. I'm so privileged to be with here, to be here with you today and um, sharing with you what we have done. And it is not only what we have done, but um, what happiness we have been having together during the work process. And um, as part of the course, we learn to do things in a different way. Saying that we do things in a different way is another way of saying that we, we do things in a more mindful way. Not exactly mindful, but more mindful than usual. I'm sorry, just one moment. Do you hear the noise coming from the background? No. Okay, that's great because there's a chuck moving under, um, under my floor. Uh, let's do uh, a mindful drinking experience together. And I would like to, to share with you no slides so that we can look at each other and we can have a, uh, have a sense of being connected. So um, I, I, um, I hope that you have something to drink with you. Uh, I have got with me some tea. I hope that you have something too, uh, some smoothie, milkshake, or hot tea, or cold drink, or anything. If you have something the, to drink, show us. You can either show us by turning on your cam, or you can show us by uh, showing an icon like this. If you have something to drink, Show an icon so that we know that we can you can join this anything anything drinkable. You just don't need tea, but anything. Okay, I hope that the others will need some time, and after some time they will come back with more things to drink. Uh, um, so let's start. I hope that um, many others are ready too. We usually drink when we are thirsty. We drink when we need some vitamins or nutrition, and we drink when we meet friends. But have you ever tried drink to meet yourself and drink to meet the substance in the drinking tea? So let's, let's have a sensation of drink just to drink, um, not for any purpose but to enjoy the process of drinking. And we do it a little bit more slowly than usual. Firstly, let's hold the cup in your hand with love, you know. Um, this hand has the warmth and with this warmth, I send it to my cup and I feel the warmth of my cup too because I have hot tea inside. Um, I just love this cup because it has been on the table with me and I look at these flowers almost every day when I work. Violet is my favorite color too. And I feel the sensation of my hand touching the cup. I just hold it this way. I don't hold it uh, the handle this way. I just hold it this way with both hands. Um, and then now I will look inside the cup. I will let my eyes get soaked in the color of the drink. And I will inhale to give my um, nose some sensation of the, the sweet smell of tea. And then I slowly will put my lips into the cup and slowly I will let the tea come into my tongue. And slowly I listen to how my tongue receives the taste of the tea. And then I will drink slowly and let my body receive the, the tea uh, to see whether it is excited like I am feeling now or um, whether my body will feel nurtured or when my body feels loved or when my body is filled listened to. So I will drink with all of myself and I give all of myself to myself in my drinking. So let's join it together. Let's drink, drink deeply and listen deeply to our tongue and to our body.
at the tip of my tongue, uh, it was a little bit bitter. But when it goes deeper to the back of my tongue, it started to turn sweet. And when it came into my stomach, I felt so warm inside. And when I drink, when I drink this, I recall uh, the first day I saw the bag of tea in my cupboard. I couldn't recall who gave it to me. But whenever I drink this tea, um, it just comes to my imagination. So many dawns, the sunshine um, was bright on the green tea leaves. And so many nights, the moonshine on the green tea leaves. I should ask myself whether these green tea leaves were, you know, they came into being in the springtime or in the summertime or in the winter time. Is it in the north of Vietnam or the center of Vietnam or in the south of Vietnam? I only know that when I drink this tea, I not only drink in um, the substance, but I drink in the sunshine and the moonlight and the substance in the earth in the far off region, somewhere I don't know. But I know that the earth is sweet and the sunshine is sweet and the moonlight is sweet too. So whenever I drink this tea, I feel like I drink the whole universe into my body. And I feel like I am loved by the whole universe. So I want you to drink uh, another sup, another sup of your drinking with me. And then I want to hear from you how you feel when you drink in this way. It is so thrilling, so happy to be in this way with you, far away from you and not too far away from you. Isolated from you and connected to you at the same time. I am far away from the sunshine that were uh, shining on the, the trees, but, but that feeling is inside my stomach. No, nothing is too far away even though nothing is too close. How do you feel when you drink this tea? Uh, I want to hear from you. Will you share with me what is your feeling when you drink your drink today? You can either type it in the, in the chat box or you can raise your voice and share with us how you feel. Uh, I want to hear from you. Okay, let's have a game, small game together. If you have something sweet, will you type number one into the chat box? If you have tea, will you type number two? And if you have uh, some dairy drinks like smoothie or milkshake, type number three, okay? So sweet, one, tea, two, dairy, number three, please. Wow. It seems that we have a lot of one and two, right? Sweet and bitter and little dairy. Does anyone drink something that is not, not bitter, not sweet, not dairy? Any other kind of feeling so special that you want to share with us? Oh. So uh, I want to hear from some of you. Will somebody be willing to share with us how you drink? I'm especially interested in someone who is very far away. Um, let me guess who is the farthest person from me. Uh, is Lao's father or Lung Dong father? Kohan, what do you think? Uh, let's say Lao's is. Oh, yeah, beyond the border. Oh, oh yes, beyond the border. Um, we have someone from Laos here. Um, Mr. Uh, Konsak. I see that you are on the, 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 the camp. Will you share with us um, how you feel when you had to drink? Yeah. 
Please turn on your mic. I'll turn on your mic, um, Mister. Me now. Oh, I'm here now. Uh, hello, everyone. A greeting from Laos. Uh, thank you for the very meaningful lesson for today. And I have practiced the way that you say it. Uh, it's very cool. I love it. Yeah, it's, I feel deep in my heart, my feeling inside. And yeah, I feel released after practicing the strategy that you have taught. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Thomas Sack. Do I say your name right? Yeah, <laughs> yes. It's Kansa. Uh, uh, it's a Kansa. Thank you. Yeah. It right. is so. It is a privilege for me to be in Hanoi and party with um, a professor in Laos. It is so special. <laughs> so we have. We need to thank COVID for this special chance. I can be in my home and I can be with you from Laos. Thank you, Mr. Connors. Appreciated that. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Ms. Ms. Hương Nguyễn is uh, drinking cappuccino and cacao mix. Oh, Ms. Hương Nguyễn, where are you from? Would you like to say some word and share with us? Uh, hello. <laughs> Oh, welcome, Miss Nguyen. Yeah, I was drinking cappuccino and cacao mixed. Oh. I really like it's warmy and it let me concentrate, concentrate more on your presentation. I also feel grateful for all of speakers today who share about happy teaching and learning. Oh, thank you, Ms. Hương Nguyễn. I'm so happy that you are happy. So our happiness will be doubled. Thank you so much for joining with me in this uh, mindful drinking activity. You know, uh, drinking is one activity, but we can do everything in a mindful way. And um, when, we, uh, when we do things in a, in a more mindful way, um, we test lives more dearly and the intensity of life experience that we get increase we may not live 200 years we may live only uh, a short lifespan 70 years or 80 years but the amount of life experience and the amount of life satisfaction that we can gain can be doubled or tripled or quadrupled who knows if you live in a very mindful way so uh, let me share my screen with you and I would like to move on to the next part of, um, of this afternoon session that is book review. I'm going to share with you, thank you, Tom Tom. This is the core book of our course. Uh, excuse me for one moment, I need to close the door. Uh, there is a truck um, beneath my window and it is roaring. It's so distracting. But now I feel warm and safe and cozy now. Um, the name of the book is Search Inside Yourself. And this book uh, has been the, the, the core book for um, a mindfulness course developed by Google. And we, um, our team have also been so much inspired by this book. And I would like to share with you the content of this book and especially with focus on chapter two. Um, the, um, the, the title of ch chapter two is Making Profits, Rowing Across the Ocean and Changing the World. And um, on the day I, um, I had the idea of reviewing this book, I came across this template, this PowerPoint template. And I, so was, I was so in love with the image of a man standing on the top of the mountain. You know, his view is just huge. It is limited, unlimited. And when you are on the top of the mountain, you, 
you have the feeling like you are the winner. You have won over yourself because you have overcome difficulties and hardship to come up there. And when you are there, you feel that you are so high. And I think that um, it is the feeling that Google has um, given to the world. We have Google and we can search the internet and we can be connected with the brains of so many other people. And suddenly we find that our brain capacity and our brain um, uh, capability tripled, quadrupled, and even become 10 times bigger. But Google themselves think that outside of yourself, it is very large, but something larger and more empowering is in fact is inside yourself. Google can help you to search outside of yourself, but to search inside yourself, you have to start your own journey. You have to travel alone. And at the beginning, it may find strange and weird and awkward, but as the time goes by, you will go higher and higher with your journey to the top of the mountain. And when you go there, when you can have an overview of yourself, you will discover that inside yourself, there is the whole universe. And from that universe, you will find the power to change the universe outside of yourself. And, and I believe that is the, um, the ambition of the people who wrote this book. And they inspired me so much, even just with the title of chapter two. Um, and at the beginning of chapter two, um, I came across these words. We need to enlist a motivation expert. That person is you. You are the world's top expert at figuring out what motivates you. Wow, do you feel motivated by this? Uh, they are so good at motivating. And I, I felt that even with very simple words, they just send electricity through my system. I feel so much electrified. And then um, um, the, um, like the backdrop of this, uh, this chapter, or um, you know, the, um, the justification behind the reason that we need to motivate ourselves is the reason why we come into this world. The most vulnerable, clearly understood and enlightened and reliable constant in the world is not only that we want to be happy, but that we want only to be so, and our, so our very nature requires it of us. So the point number one, um, we come into this world to look for happiness. And the point number two, the, the number one expert in this world to guide you into finding your own happiness is you yourself. And um, in this chapter, the writer gives us an example of a man who has a very unique way of making a success. Let me read to you some lines from chapter two. Um, that is uh, one case about an exceptionally successful young man. His name is Tony. Tony Page is an inspiration to me. At the age of 24, Tony sold Link Exchange, the company he confounded to Microsoft for $265 million. He later became the CEO of Zappos and grew it from nothing to a company with a billion dollars in annual sales. Annual sales, billion dollar from nothing. But his entrepreneur, entrepreneur success is not what inspires me. What really inspires me is his wise, skillful, and courageous use of happiness in a corporate setting. Tony figures out that the secret of Zappos' success is delivering happiness, which is also the title of his book. So happiness is the core and the base of the success of the company. Um, Tony's argument is that um, first he makes 
his employees happy. Because when they are happy, they provide the best service to the customers. And when the customers are happy, they enjoy the service and they will spend money with Zappo. And that was the, um, the key of success. I don't know if that was the thing that Mrs. Nguyen Thu Lê Hằng has done with us. During the cost design program, we feel so happy and we, are so, we feel so delighted to be part of the team. And perhaps it, it, is what, it is the biggest success that we have done, Dr. Hằng. We have been feeling so happy together, right? So um, to gain happiness, to gain success, it begins with happiness. Happiness for yourself and happiness of the people around you. Um, and um, the chapter continues with um, the, um, the, uh, the list of three subtypes of happiness. Instinctively, people will look for pleasure and some people will look for, for passion and fewer people will look for higher purpose. These are the three types of happiness with different levels of sustainability, among which pleasure is followed by the biggest amount of people, the most commonly followed uh, goal of people's life. But unluckily, the sustainability of pleasure is the shortest. And some people follow passion, and passion is uh, more sustainable than pleasure. And very few people follow a higher purpose for their life. And unfortunately, this is the most sustainable form of happiness. And according to Tony, we should go the reverse way if we want to look for happiness. This is according to Tony. We should invest most of our time for a higher purpose. Um, and sometimes when we have uh, extra time, extra energy. When we meet someone who shares the same passion with us, we can enjoy the second type of uh, happiness. And pleasure, the final type of happiness, will come to us sometimes as the bonus when we do our job so well, when we contribute to this life so much and we get um, bonus from people. Like uh, in this book, the author of this book, got a very positive comments from Dalai Lama, from the um, many famous people around the world. And, and he, Chit Man Tan, the author, believes that it is the kind of pleasure that he can, he can enjoy as the cream um, on top of his cake. But the core of his cake is made up of a bigger, a higher and bigger purpose. I. Um, I will not talk more about um, the other parts of the contents of chapter two. I want to keep it uh, a temporary secret and I want to make you curious about what the rest of the book says. Um, uh, just, just one clue, very quickly through the clue. The three techniques to create um, long lasting sustainable happiness, according to Tony, is alignment, envisioning, and resilience. Um, and, uh, and then after giving these um, big items, Chit Mentan, the author of the book, explains it and gives examples and gives further detailed instructions on how to, to realize it in our everyday life. And if you read the book, you will enjoy one more thing. That is the you know, I, I, what is the, the huge sense of humor? So I just love that. Typical of uh, the IT guys, very humorous and intelligent and smart. And when you read the book, you will be charmed, not only by the great content, but also by uh, the tone. The tone of the book is as charming as the content itself. And the thing that presented, that was presented in this book, Remind me of a saying, um, a, a remark from the executive chairman of Google. This book and the course is based on, represents one greatest aspect of Google's culture. That one individual with uh, a great idea 
can really change the world. The world has gone through the history of 2000 years. So many inventions and advancements have been made in, in so many aspects of life. And the kids nowadays have to go to school for almost 20 years so that they can, they can understand and can, can inherit uh, the huge legacy of knowledge that the humankind has made. And we think, we, you may ask yourself, then, then is there any place where I can contribute anything new into this life? Is there any place for me? And the answer from the Google culture is yes. If you, if you uh, have one big idea, you can always change the world. I think, um, I think this sentence of Eric Smith is very um, uh, uh, convincing to me because if we look at what, how, how Google has changed the world, we can believe that it is not wrong to say so. And then where do we find the one idea that nobody else have ever thought of that is big enough to change the world? Where does that one idea come from? Does it come from another person living 2000 years ago or somebody living in the 19th century or somebody in your same time? No, it cannot because if it is number one, if it is original, it must come from one place, not the outside world but it must come from the inside of you so that it is original. Uh, and it is so lovely that Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh has said that the way out is in. If you want to go across the world, if you want to change the world outside, you have to go inside of you. You have to search, not the, not the internet, but the inner net, you know, the net inside of your soul. If you have your own Google, if you build up your own Google, if you have a strong tool, if you search inside yourself, go deep in and you will find something so empowering and present it to the world as a present, the present that you can give the world. That is something new. That is something um, challenging. That is something that can help change the world. Um, and, and in order to go in, we need a device, we need a, a way, we need a method. And that method, that way must be yours only, uniquely yours, similar to no one at all. And, and there's another inspiring sentence that I want to share with you. Nobody is your than you, be you. That is your superpower. Google has done Google's job. Facebook has done Facebook's job. And now your job will be done by you. And you can, you can define the future of the world by being you, going deep inside, building up your own uh, Google search and um, make you a powerful one by traveling deep inside, search inside yourself. So uh, allow me to finish my book review today um, with this sentence um, and with this, this image of a man standing on the top of a mountain and with this image of a man looking at uh, a faraway vision. You know, he must be looking at something far away. Uh, perhaps in his mind, he sees the peak of a mountain in the blue sky and in the white cloud. And I wish you all a happy journey into the internet of yourself, um, empowering yourself with something uniquely yours. And then you will come out to the world and empower the world with something that is yours. So that in the future, uh, whenever people talk about the development of the world, people have to name your contribution. They may forget your name, but your contribution will not be forgotten. And if we live with that big inspiration inside, we will find every moment is a moment of excitement. Um, thank you for listening to me. And uh, thank you for being with me. And um, I feel so grateful that I can be part of a great team with uh, Dr. Lei Hang and Dr. Thum Thum and Dr. Kim Ang. 
And I hope that we can meet someday in another circumstance. And we can talk about uh, how we can share with you the ideas of this course. And I want to hear that you will also do something similar to your students. Thank you for your listening. And I return the platform to our next speaker, uh, a very um, inspiring speaker. Uh, let me introduce to you Miss um, Thom Thom, Dr. Thom Thom. She will uh, guide you through another activity that we do to our students. Thank you for your listening. Uh, thank you, Chi Bing, and um, I, would like to, I would like you to uh, show the appreciation and our gratitude to uh, all the presenters today. And I'm the last in the team to present today. And uh, I was a little bit nervous at the beginning of the session because um, uh, talking about something very interesting in English with my colleagues, uh, all over the countries and in some other parts of the world as well. And um, uh, I would like to, re uh, to confirm Bing's, Bing's words that we do not advertise for Google. We do not advertise for uh, the technology here, but we appreciate those who created the, the, the machines or those who are um, trying to building up happiness and making our life much more better. And such inside yourself is a tool. So whenever I look at the book, whenever I read the book, I feel grateful because I have the chance to read the book. I've, I feel grateful because I have the chance to know about the course, to be part of the course for you, Liz, and also um, about part of the happy journey that I am just one entity in this journey. And I feel happy every moment uh, here and now. And uh, it is my pleasure to be with you and to share with you my happy journey as well. Now, let me back to the, the, the next part. So um, some of the interactive questions I'd like to ask you here is, please measure from one to 10. How much do you feel now from one to 10? So if, if 10 is something very fine, very satisfactory, enjoy, enjoyful, so from one to 10, how much do you feel now? Please type in the chat box. I'm looking at the numbers here. Please, nine from Thơm Chen. Oh, my lovely uh, name. I can see the name, okay. Hương, thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. I'd like to, to, to see some more. Wow. Eight, nine, mm. seven, beautiful numbers. I love the numbers. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this. Mm. Okay. Ah, thank you. Now my second question. Thank you. My second question here. If you are just solely listening to us, you type number one. If you are multitasking at this moment, you type number two. Okay, I just want to know. If you are just listening to us, number one. If you are multitasking at the moment, number two. Mm, I can see home multitasking. Mm. That be number one, quite to, quite to hương number one. Mm, strand number two. So thank you everyone for your being here with us. I know that when you are multitasking, you may feel a little bit guilty because you really want to enjoy this, but you also, you cannot miss the other. So you need to be balanced in between, but it's great that you can say and you can raise your voice and we know about that. And we've, um, we still feel very grateful. Okay, thank you. Now, the last question, I will have a key word now. The key word here is, we would like you to dig deeply inside yourself, to search inside yourself and to find some enjoyable moments together. So whenever you are tired, please, I want you to think of the, the, tire, the tiring moments. When you are tired, where would you like to go? 
Where would you like to go? What would you like to do? So the place that you'd like to go when you are tired. The activity you'd like to do when you are tired. Okay, very nice. Stay at home, go to sleep, nature. Okay, thank you, Dr. Hang. My home, beach. Mm, I have been to the beach this year due to COVID-19. Go to bed. Your little farm with flowers, very nice home. Beach, listening to music in the bedroom. To sit calmly under a tree in the big field. Oh my goodness, Thailand! Lan, it is my desire. Shopping, very nice. Hang out with friends, okay? Tranquil places, that's great. Mm. I'm very happy that now you interact with me and you share uh, the interesting ideas. And uh, of course, there's no exact answer for this. Each of you may have your own answer, I can say. Cooking meal with my family, okay, good a cafe or come back to my countryside. Watch film with my mom, read the book. Wow, a lot of interesting ideas that I may apply. Thank you for giving me a very nice list. And most of the things in the list are the things I normally do. I normally do when I'm tired and, and when I need some escape. But the thing that I can do without not much effort, not much money, uh, which is some kind of um, concentration. I would like to share a very, I, I can say, um, simple way or simple trick or simple tip that I normally apply and I use in my classroom for myself, for my family members. And uh, it can help me relax, totally relax and enjoy my life. And I call it, I call it, so I use the word here, Search inside myself and find the inner peace, the inner peace. So for this part, I would like to share some moments with you. So when you look to, at the word inner peace here and you see the different colors here, you can see deeper inside yourself, there will be a place that you may call home. There will be a bed there. There will be a beautiful beach inside. There, there will be a cafe where you can talk to your friends. There can be some movies that you can watch together with your mom or other family members. There is even a kitchen for you to cook the meal, not only for you, but for others, for the one you love. So exactly, this is the inner peace. So let me stop sharing and then invite, I would like to invite you to join the, the moments, the mindful moments with me. So are you ready to join me? If you are ready, please type number two. If not, any other number, okay? Wow, thank you so much. Thank you for your kindness, your kind support. Hmm. I will take a deep breath, deep breath now. Because I can see the word 3000 and it makes my heart beat faster, okay? Because it's a word of love. I, I love you 3000 too. Thank you everyone. Now, let us begin by sitting comfortably. So you can choose a sitting place, an area, an area that you can sit comfortably. If you like, you can even lie down. But if you sit, please choose a position that enables you to be both relaxed and alert at the same time. Relaxed and alert, whatever that means to you. Or if you prefer, you may sit like a majestic mountain, a majestic mountain, very firm, strong, whatever means that means 
to you. Let us now take three slow, deep breaths to inject both energy and relaxation into our practice. I will speak either uh, both in English and in Vietnamese. Breathing in. Breathing out. Thở vào. Thở ra. Breathing in. Breathing out. Thở vào. Thở ra. You can close your eyes or you can keep your eyes shut and open or open a little bit. Now, let us breathe naturally and bring a very gentle attention to your breath. You can either bring attention to the nostrils, the abdomen, abdomen, or the entire body of breath, whatever that means to you. Breathing in, breathing out, thở vào, thở ra. Become aware of your in-breath, out-breath, and the space in between. Breathing in, you know that you are breathing in. Breathing out, you know that you are breathing out. Thở vào. Bụng phồng lên, thở ra, bụng xẹp xuống. Breathing in, you know that you're breathing in. Breathing out, you know that you're breathing out. Thở vào, ta biết. Ta đang thở vào. Thở ra. Ta biết ta đang thở ra. If you like, you can think of this exercise as resting the mind on the breath. You can visualize the breath to be a resting place or a cushion or a mattress or the sand on the beach and let your mind rest on it very gently. Just be. If at any time you feel distracted by a sensation, a thought, or a sound, just acknowledge it, experience it, and very gently let it go. Bring your attention very gently back to the breathing. If you like, 
let us end this mediation by inviting joyful inner peace to arise. Breathing in, I am calm. Breathing out, I smile. This present moment, wonderful. Once again, breathing in, I am calm. Breathing out, I smile. This present moment, wonderful. Thank you so much for your attention. Now you can open your eyes and be back to me here. You can keep your smile. And if possible, could you please turn on your camera or your microphone okay. so that we can see each other? Do I, do I look more beautiful after this, moments? Yes, sure. Thank you for your generosity. And you look amazing as well. Thank you. I can see your smiles um, and I can see the bright, yeah, the glow in your face and I can sense your energy going through my body at the moment and I would love to express my gratitude to all of you for being here with me, here and now. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. So actually, this is a thing that I normally do with my students in my English lessons because I teach English and also the thing I do for myself as a retreat whenever I feel tired and I need to search for my home. Yeah, in that home, I can be the queen, the beauty queen in that home, I can be uh, the cook in that home, I can sit by the beach during COVID-19, my dreaming world there, and I can be in the nature, I can find myself most beautiful, most valued, and most loved by me, by myself, and by others as well. And that's my journey to happiness here and now, with just a few moments of silence. Sometimes I just sit, and do nothing, think of nothing, and let the, the thinking wandering. And I do not mind whether I have some kinds of feelings or sensation. I just feel free, feel free, like a mountain, like a bird, like the cloud, and like the blue sky. And then I can regain the energy and recharge myself. So now I would like you to have some kind of my experience sharing. So we come to the kind of circle sharing. It is also a part of our lesson. Whenever we do some kind of activities, we will do the circle sharing so that everyone can have the chance to raise the voice. And I have these two questions for you. You may reflect on your feeling during 
and after the inner peace session, how did you feel? And then do you think further? It can be, or this kind of activity can be applicable in your teaching or in your daily life. Any kind of application or implication that you may think of. Okay, so two questions about your feeling or reflection during and after the inner peace, and then the application of this activity into your teaching. Clear enough, right? So I will start the sentences here. And uh, I would like you to um, to work in um, in groups. So we have about nearly a hundred here, but I guess some of you are multitask multitasking. So um, do you think that we can work in um, in a big group like this so that everyone can listen? Because if you work in uh, in different rooms, I I guess that some of you are multitasking and you cannot focus. And we would like to hear your voice and everyone can listen to you. You can be heard and you can be shared with a lot of energy. I have a lot of energy now, positive energy now, and I would like to share, okay? Ah, Hale, Hale, Chị Hale, Chị, uh, can you say something about this? Anyone, please? <laughs> uh, I just want to uh, hello, hello. Um, uh, I, I just want to say a big thank you to all the speakers today. You have uh, brought a very new inspiration to us as a participant in this uh, workshop. And after listening to your sharing, uh, I can uh, find the peaceful mind in myself. Uh, and uh, I can see the peace in your mind, uh, in your face as well. Something that can convey the message to us as the participants in this uh, workshop. Uh, and you know what, uh, can I share a little bit more? Because of COVID-19 pandemic, so we all have to switch to uh, online learning and teaching. So sometimes it's a little bit tired to both the lecturers and the students. So by using your method here can absolutely help us to shape the way we teach English and learning English. So once again, thank you so much. I'm, and I feel so pleased to, to be able to attend this workshop. Thank you so much. Oh, it's very kind of you. You're so welcome. And uh, I do appreciate your sharing. And uh, any other, please, could you join us in this symphony? Okay. Ngọc, Nguyễn Thị Ngọc, would you like to share something? Your, your beautiful face did inspire me a lot. Thank you. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, um, and I, uh, I'm a student at the university. And I'm sorry about my ear skill. And then, but um, I want to say something. Firstly, I want to say thank you for all the speakers today. And the second, I, I want to say about my feeling. Um, um, Recently, I I I uh, break uh, in and break out, and this is the first time I have an um, opportunity have uh, an opportunity to to do this, and um, and uh, um, this uh, this is a quite similar meditation, and I I um have I have um done that it before and. I think it's, it's very, very interesting and in the future, I if I have a chance to teaching, to teach a student, I will apply, will apply this uh, method to my uh, my teaching and, uh, and I, uh, sorry, I, I <laughs> this is the first time I say uh, in front of many people and um, so I, <laughs> yeah, so, and uh, that's it, I, um, next time I will say more and more, yeah. Well, you did a great job now, okay? We still <laughs> yeah. understand you because we are speaking the language of love, you know? Did Ms. Yeah, Nga, thank you. Are, Dr. Hang say about that at the beginning, that we are speaking the same language of love. And with the language of love, it can be understandable. 
Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am more confident about mm. this. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Is anyone else would like to share with us your uh, reflection, what you experienced during and after the inner peace, and whether you can apply this activity into your teaching? We'd like to have some more voices here. Someone from far away. Any, any of you, please raise your voice. Oh, hi. 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 <laughs> yeah hello again from laos yeah, yeah i just i just want to share um uh, uh, my ideas about like uh what you have just uh explaining i mean yeah absolutely it helps me a lot especially because right now it's under the covid 19 situation and i have to like uh, participate to learn more about like technological skills in order to help myself to promote, uh, engage my student in my online course. So after uh, doing exercise that you have did, I feel released, to be mm -hmm. honest, yeah. Yeah, and actually this, this kind of uh, activity I, I used to do uh, in my daily life as well, especially when I cannot sleep or something, I, I try to practice. I use this strategy myself before. <laughs> like if sometimes I think I have many things, yeah, many things to do at the same time, so I cannot sleep, so I can can practice this strategy and then yeah, I feel sleep out. Yeah, for uh, my students, I think this one also helpful as well, and I would like to use this strategy in my class as well, especially in my in you know, online class, like uh, the previous participant said, it's very cool. Thank you. Thank you for your encouraging words. Thank you so much. Um, and I, I do hope that we will have some time in the future when, when we can reconnect and then you can tell us about your, um, how, how you use it in your teaching and in your life as well, okay? And I do hope to visit Laos someday. It is one of my my dreams in the bucket list. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So maybe one or two more sharing. Would you like to, to do it? Please raise your voice. Hello. Anyone or anyone who am please? Who yeah. Am right? Yeah. I'm a newbie student. Uh, ah. I'm sorry. I'm a newbie teacher in ah. my school. Mm. But when I'm a student at Hanoi Pedagogical University, which is located in Big Phuc province, mm. I also practice yoga and meditation. But I I feel very isolated and lonely because my my friends don't practice it. And mm. today I feel empathy and your sharing your sharing make me more warmy and I feel the the lovely and the kindness around me and I would like to incorporate it in my teaching because I think that my students need to incorporate it in, your, in their learning. Uh, for example, they can feel that um, they can rebellious, for example, and when they meditate, they can come themselves. Thank mm. you. Thank you so much. Uh, you are not alone now. If you know that there is a stronger and stronger community of teachers who are using these techniques, we, we do not make it a big word, but we can say that we use simple ways to enjoy life in a mindful way, in a very simple way. We don't need to, um, to spend a lot of time, a lot of effort. We just try to do it in a very simple way, easy way, and we enjoy it every moment. Oh, no, no, not the, not the words that Chipu is saying some, uh, these days, okay? We are trying to enjoy these moment, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Ming Kang, how can I join the community? Yeah, we are doing Viet Tiso now, and it is one of the community, and we are here to share with you 
the things that we apply to make our teaching better, to make our teaching more effective, and to make our, to make our life more beautiful and happier. So this is one community. And if you are really interested in connect and join us in new list, in new list, we have a lot of courses for the teachers. New list connect. Thank you, Dr. Han. Uh, chị Thơm, chị Thơm Trần, who has the same name with me, would you like to share something? I'm happy yeah. to see you. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, yeah. uh, honestly speaking, um, um, that is uh, impressed uh, with the topic. Uh, when I read the topic, uh, I, I was impressed because there's uh, something that I knew to me. Yeah. And, and I decided to go to this um, session. And uh, yeah, um, I'm grateful for what you have done. I think uh, you, you have a very great team um, to bring this uh, to us uh, as uh, teachers and um, some the students here. Um, and uh, yeah, you know that uh, we are teachers and it's at the beginning of the new year the school. So, a new school year, so uh, we have a ton of work to do. And all of us feel tired. I, I feel stressful with the thousands of work, uh, from the paperwork to uh, online teaching and then offline teaching and many other things that we have to do. Uh, we have to do some e-learning or many, many things. And um, I'm happy to, to see that uh, uh, today, uh, this afternoon, I, I feel very happy and that I feel a little bit calm in my mind, like very peaceful. Yep, mm, I think it's a great thing I, I had uh, this afternoon. And thank you very much uh, for the techniques, uh, for the strategies that you that you bring to this session. And I do hope that I will bring this into my class and I, I can apply it to my students. I think all of us uh, need a peace in our life and peace in our mind. And this is wonderful, it's a wonderful uh, session, I think. So uh, it's, uh, mm -hmm. thank you very much, uh, once more time. And I have, I'm happy to, to see that you have the same name with me, Miss mm -hmm. uh, Tom Tom. Yep. Thank you, thank you. It is my pleasure to be here and yep. happy and to see someone with the same name. Yeah, wow. uh, and and I, I see that you, you like number seven, right? That is my lucky number too, and I like it very much. But uh, mm. uh, at that time, I feel uh, great, so I type in number nine. But uh, mm. in fact, I like number seven. I don't know why, but it is the perfect number for me. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for your words. Thank you for your sharing. I do appreciate. Okay. Um, I think it's enough for me now. Uh, wait, it's so great that you can find your inner peace. You can find a home within your home, a home within your heart and a home in your inner peace here. And uh, um, if, possible, you, if possible, you can apply this, not just for teaching, you can do it every day, but just a few minutes now in the daytime. And you can search inside yourself deeper and you can get to know more about a better and better and even better than the best version of you. And um, may I have, uh, may I um, introduce the next speaker uh, for the next session of my, our workshop today, Dr. Kim Anh, where are you? Dr. Kim Anh ơi. Uh, uh, Dr. Kim Anh is uh, in the middle of another meeting and she <laughs> asked me to, <laughs> to help her, to give her a helping hand. So everyone, thank you so much for your participation and in interaction with our, um, our team. We really appreciate that. Um, and um, now the next activity for us is to um, practice listening to music in a different way. So like Ooh. normally when we listen to music, we tend to multitask, right? Uh, we do cooking and maybe doing some exercises. Uh, and I'm doing housework, cleaning the house while listening to music. Um, but recently I myself, I feel that uh, when I'm doing morning exercises, 
I, I just want to focus on my, you know, exercises, my movements, uh, instead of, you know, listening to music and do, because when I listen to music, why I'm doing exercises, I tend to do it like, um, how to say, not really mindful. So a mindful lifestyle is simply like this. You know what you are doing. You are aware of what you are doing this moment. Like I'm aware that I'm talking to you. I'm sitting here in front of uh, you in, in this Zoom, virtual Zoom, and I'm talking to you. So I'm very, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. I'm aware that I need to, to focus and to maybe ignore my son because he, he keeps running in and out of my room to ask me for something. So I, I need to, you know, be mindful here. So we now will practice listening to music mindfully. I mean, we just listen to music only. You can close your eyes. You can turn off your, uh, your camera for a while and we just listen to a song. And because we all can speak English, English so in order to help you focus on the music, we would choose a Chinese song. So we cannot, we cannot understand the lyrics, but we'll focus on the melody and on the music. And just try and listen, just relax and then share with us your feelings after listening to this piece of music, mindfully. Just great idea. Yeah. I know a little bit Chinese. And now I will turn you know? off. I will turn off that button. Close your eyes and just focus on the ears. Ting I 
经历受伤害，我看见路梦的入口有点窄，我遇见你是最美丽的意外。总有一天，我的谜底会解开。Welcome back, everyone, to our real world. Tom, <laughs> Tom, um, yeah. Do, do you recognize any word? Um, some words like I or Shang. Say some. I guess related to love. I thought so. I thought it's a love song. The voice of the singer is so sentimental, emotional. Okay, so um, any of you would like to share your feelings about this time listening to um, a song, to a piece of music um, mindfully? Sounds emotional and relaxing, sounds great. Yes, share in there. Peaceful. Nice, sweet. so sweet. And peaceful, yes. Oh, someone raises the hand home, please. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm Hong. I'm originally from Cambodia, but my name is uh, similar to Chinese. <laughs> is as well. We have home. Mean it means pink. Vietnamese. It means pink in Vietnamese. Oh, I, I never know that. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, yeah, uh, how, how I don't know Chinese at all. <laughs> I just know some word like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, after listening to the song, I feel that it sounds emotional and yeah, it makes me feel peaceful at the moment. Yeah. And although I don't understand the meaning of the song, but uh, the track and the voice I heard made me feel uh, relaxing, very relaxed. So yes, actually music is love and music is life. I do like uh, listening to music, especially traditional music like in Cambodia, we in Cambodia we have a uh, uh, Mr. Sinsisamot, uh, Miss Rosarizatia. They are all uh, famous Cambodian singer. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I also do appreciate uh, all the speakers today. You have said a lot of things with us. So, and yeah, that's all from me. Thank you so much. Thank you for your sharing. Yes, music is, um, it can be healing as well. It can heal also whenever we feel, even um, in, the, in the lowest moment of our life, when if we listen to music, it can liven up. Thank you so much for your sharing. And we hope that sometime we'll be able to listen to Cambodian music and uh, music from Laos and from anywhere else in the world because I see that in our participant, Debbie Morrison, where are you from? I am from uh, Albany, New York. Mm. Share with us uh, some of your feelings after this uh, music listening practice i love the voice very sweet i did not understand the words but it was, it was very calming um very very soothing mm. okay um everyone um i think now uh we have uh time 
we will spend the, the remaining time of our session this afternoon for questions and answers. So if you have any questions and any reflective uh, sharing, continue to do that. Yes. So we are here to respond to any questions you have. Um, uh, some of you ask in the chat box about the presentation slide. Um, Peng Zhang uh, and I, I thought that I, oh, oh okay. Um, actually this session, uh, you can rewatch this session again. Is it true, Tom Tom? We can yeah. rewatch this session yeah. for the next three months. For the next three months, it, it will be available on the website of um, Bitiso. So you can rewatch this session. Yeah. And if you want to get uh, in touch with our team, um, just email us and um, you are welcome to join our community and Whenever we have a um, talk show or we have a training, you will be informed and you are welcome to join us. Yes, okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Dr. Nguyễn Thu Lệ Hằng, so much. And thank you all the speaker for a very wonderful uh, presentation, wonderful workshop with a uh, very, I mean, that's a lot of new insights, new practice for me. and and probably for all the participants here in the sessions. Uh, that also great. And and we really, I think that's from my part, I really enjoy the moment that I, uh, I listen to you, uh, your sharings, the music, the insight, and all the code. I think that's uh, the practice also. They are, they are, all of them are very wonderful. So thank you so much for a very, <laughs> yeah, very incredible push up. Yes, uh, uh, in time that we are uh, wait, waiting for our participants to raise their questions, I would like to, uh, let's, let me ask you some questions that uh, I, I have when I listen to your presentations. Uh, it seems that you are, you are not, not only educating um, the language educator for the future, you're not uh, educating an, uh, language teacher for the future, but you are, you are really educating a true human. So oh. like uh, I, I see this, um, I see, yeah, I see the, the idea of education for life. It's, uh, it's sparse from your presentation. I, I really enjoy it. Um, my question here is um, where in the, I mean, uh, your course, this course is uh, for the students at what year of the four years program? Yes. Thank, thank you, Luan, for your question. Uh, yes. Actually, this is um, a compulsory course for students uh, who study to become teachers. Yes. Yes, so we understand that teachers need um, empathy for their students yes. um, before we do any teaching trans. Um, before we do any um, any things like uh, parting knowledge to our students, we need mm -hmm. empathy and love. We will start from that. So we would like to develop our future teachers this uh, ability to first mm -hmm. of all love themselves, have empathy for themselves, and then they will work better with our uh, with with their future learners. So this sub, uh, this course is offered to um, from second year student on to uh, oh, like, yes. yeah, they, they, can, they can apply, uh, register to the course from the semester four of their, of their study. So, yes. so second year, third year and fourth year. And, yes. and we would like to have a mixed uh, group because um, um, there will be you know, a variety, a broader range of uh, age, um, ages and experiences as well. So it would, it would make um, the sharing more intense and more diverse. Yeah, yeah so that's so great, uh, Miss. And uh, I think that's, uh, I would like to ask you this, uh, I see your, your, I mean, I see your mark, your assessment, 
uh, criteria. And I would like to ask you this, uh, about the, the, the students' activity. Uh, they have reflection, they have uh, book review, um, and other things like also meditation practice within in, within out. So uh, whether or not they do these um, work individually or in group, for example, book review or yeah, thing like that. Yeah. Um, book review they will do in group uh, and find a pitch in group, but reflection is individual. Yes. Yeah, reflection individual. Thank you. And I see that you, uh, you, you get your student. Um, they, they. I mean, you get your student uh, complete their reflections on Canva. This is mm -hmm. a very wonderful platform. And whether or not uh, their, their peer, I mean, their classmate, see their product, uh, they just hand in the product to the teacher. Mm -hmm. Let me let me uh, answer this. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, Canva is just one tool only. We let the students do uh, work with different types of technology uh, tools. Uh, they they may use Canva. They may use um, Google Slides. Uh, Google um, Science. They can use some blogs uh, like uh, Minds, Medi Medium, or they can use the Notion. And some of the students they can use Wix Science. They, they, they use WordPress and um, um, Spark Adobe, and they can make video clips. They can use different techniques to make beautiful and creative video clips. They can make audio um, files as well, and they share in the folders for in, in, a, in a shared folder for everyone to enjoy. It is like a ga gallery walk, and then um, they can make it like um, uh, the final product, but not at the end. Uh, we we measure their journey as well. So they they put all the raw material in one folder, and gradually they build up uh, that portfolio every day and every week and after every session. And by then, it is a final product. But uh, when we look back, it is a journey as well. The e yeah. portfolio, right? Exactly what Harley mentioned here. Oh, I think that's that. That's so great. There's a lot, a lot of, I mean, great uh, idea in building up the course from the theory into the platform. You have the ideas of e portfolio. I think that's, that's so great. I all enjoy all of these things. Uh, and and uh, one more question I would like to ask you this. Uh, yeah, for the activity, I, I really expect it to be able to join you in the the training sessions or the sharing sessions that you mentioned uh, somewhere in between the presentations later. But I, I wonder about um, the way that you conduct the, uh, for example, the, the listening to music, uh, the mindfulness listening, the mindful listening practice, whether or not, I mean, on the, on the mindful listening session will be, uh, will be instructed by the teacher or the students themselves can lead, um, can list their group or lead the whole class for some sessions. Um, ben, you would, like, would you like to answer this question? Yes. Because you can talk about several different micro activities that we, we let our students experience. Students. But Luan, also you pointed out a very, um, yeah. Very nice idea of letting our students do that as well. Uh, we we have yeah. I also really inspired by the the, the practice of uh, my phone drinking and also my phone uh, my phone listening. I could I could 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 you share with me this? Uh, Can you share with, with uh, um, yes. It is it is my um, happiness to to talk about this when I'm listening to your question. I was listening mindfully, and when I'm smiling to you, when I answer, I smile mindfully as well. Um, my full life is, um, you know, it can be 24 hours in a day. Uh, it can be mindful speaking, mindful listening, mindful drinking, and mindful eating. You, when you are mindful uh, in everything you do, you do it in a very relaxed manner. 
and uh, you do one thing at a time only with all of yourself, all of your heart, all of your brain, all of your body. Just like when you are drinking, you just drink uh, for yourself first. Um, and when you do mindful listening, there's a, a, a huge range of listening activities that you can do. You can share with the students how to listen to a piece of music mindfully, but you can also teach the students to listen to a person mindfully. When you listen to a piece of music, uh, we listen to the vibration of emotions um, being made beautifully by the, com the combination of words and music. But when you listen to somebody's emotion, like when somebody is in pain, when somebody is in shame, when somebody is worried, and that person share with you your feeling, or when your student is worried about the exam and she or he shares with you, it is also a symphony. It is like a music from the soul. And when you are listening to that person with a lot of attention, a lot of love and a lot of care, and you extend your heart out so that you can melt your heart and that person's heart, making a bridge. You connect two souls with the activity of listening. So active listening or mindful listening can be applied to listening to music, listening to a bird singing, listening to the voice inside our heart. Uh, we listen to our body and when we listen to other people. So there's a huge range of deep listening that we can do. And in the same way, we can, we can look deeply, we can feel deeply, we do everything with our heart and with our brain and with all of our body and that would be mindful living. So um, for example, when I, teach, um, when I teach language to my students, I have extra classes when I teach um, English grammar and vocabulary to the secondary kids. And I, I teach them some mindful breathing at the beginning of every lesson. I spend 10 minutes or five minutes, turn on some soft music and uh, let them sit silently. And I, I ask them to listen to the sound of silence beneath the, the sound of music. And I ask them to relax. And can you imagine with only 10 minutes of uh, mindful listening in that way, they don't talk, you know, they don't, they don't talk with each other. They pay attention to me and they can memorize the new words very easily. And whenever they are worried about an exam or when they fail to, to do something difficult, I just tell them to, um, to, to sprinkle some perfume into uh, the wrinkle and breathe in and out, enjoy that perfume. And in that way, they, they mindfully get rid of the worry or the shame or the problem that they are focusing. And, um, and when I hug my daughter in the morning or in the evening, I hug her mindfully. And um, whenever I touch her, I touch her mindfully. So, um, Mindful activities can be uh, mindful teaching, mindful living, um, mindful smiling, mindful anything in life. And um, the smaller kids will, um, won't be able to do the activities in shorter phases of time, like five minutes, like 10 minutes, or you can turn it into a game. Uh, would you like to try a small game? I do this kind of game for the kids uh, of the secondary school. For example, in the middle of a learning session, when I see that they are very tired, I ask them to use their, their right finger to touch the left ear and the other finger to touch the nose. And then I require them to change the hand like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and then 10 times. And then they forget about the, you know, the hardship of the learning and, Etc. Or I may um, ask them to do very small mindful activities like if you agree with the teacher, turn your head to the right. And if you love the teacher, turn your head to the left. And if you find the lesson very lovely, 
turn your head to the middle and smile. And then, um, you know, in, in that way, you can turn anything into mindful. And this can be applied to even the small kids, like in uh, kindergarten, like in uh, secondary school or high school and the students. And um, there's a very lovely result of my teaching uh, mindful sitting with the, a group of uh, kids that I teach them from grade four twice a week and now they are in grade 12 and many of them have the habit of uh, sitting quietly for five minutes in the evening before they go to bed just five minutes in the time and then over a long period of time they can do sitting meditation and it is so lovely to see that when they have a trouble with the learning, when they are sad and something, instead of uh, doing something negative, they would sit there quietly and come back to their breath. And they may even share with us. So uh, if you have tasted the pleasure and the stillness, and the peace of some micro activity, it will develop it into your lifestyle. And it is uh, my big dream that all the kids in Vietnam will learn to do micro things in the early stages of life, just five minutes a day, and then they will have a habit. And we will have a micro community that consists of 100 million people in Vietnam, maybe in 50 years time, who knows? That is the ambition of our group. I hope that my answer has satisfied you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. That's so wonderful. Thank you so much. And thank you all the other speaker uh, in the sessions. Uh, I hope that the, uh, the idea of my full, uh, my full learning activity and I mean, mindfulness in every action will be inspired and will be, um, will be adopted in, in education, in uh, every stage of education in Vietnam. That's so great, so wonderful. Uh, thank you so much once again. Uh, so uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, me, uh, let's have some minutes to ask my, uh, our participants. Um, I would like to ask our participants, do you have any question? Do you have any further question for our presenter today? You please uh, do not, uh, please, you can enter your question in, into onto the chat box or you can ask our presenter directly now. I want to add that in the course that we, uh, we are conducting, um, there are several different um, mindful activities, the mini one, like listening to music, and also like we do sitting, uh, walking, uh, drinking, eating, eating. yes, um, drawing, everything in a different way. Then singing, writing, singing, writing, writing in a different way. That means mindfully. So we're developing mindful lifestyle in, in every activity we do in life and in, in our study. And um, in the chat box, I have read um, comments from home um, in Cambodia. We agree with you. Yes, absolutely. Our Zen master, Thich Nhat Hanh. And also um, a comment from Hương Nguyen. Um, uh, this, is, this is great, but um, as um, admittedly, we are in the initial stage of um, our own mindfulness practice. And also in, in the course with our students as well. We are not yet at the level that we can help heal and transform yet. We are just in the initial stage that we, we realize the benefit of mindfulness and it helps us to calm down, you know, and concentrate and um, uh, gain the, um, the peacefulness of the mind so that we, like, like when we have an agent from outside, we breathe in and we wait for a while before we react. So that agent and mindfulness will help us to have a mindful response to the external um, agent. We are not yet 
at the level that we, we can help other people heal, like people suffering from mental illnesses to heal themselves and transform themselves. We, we are not there yet, but we, we hope that someday we'll be able to do that. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, here in the chat box, thank you, Ms. Hang Wing, Dr. Hang Wing. And here in the chat box, we have a question from, uh, let me see. Yeah, uh, someone, yeah, this is someone asking about uh, whether or not any university have applied um, mindfulness in in education, in tertiary education. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, in so tertiary education, Tong Tong Tang University, yeah. yeah. I heard, I heard that Tong Tang University. We have, they, uh, we have our speaker here. Yeah. Yeah. Please meet uh, Doctor Nguyễn Thị Thâm Thâm, please. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Barry. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure whether I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, so at the moment, uh, now when when I'm here. Uh, I before coming here actually today this this afternoon I'm having a lesson with my students with my first year students at ULIS and I told you be, told them beforehand that I'm going to have uh, to attend a very important conference so I give them some, I gave them some guidelines of how to conduct a mindful activity so I asked them to work in a big groups and then in some smaller groups in a circle sharing. And I asked them to share about their, uh, one of their failures in life and the other group, one of their achievements in life. And then because uh, in the reading, they read about uh, uh, ups and downs in life in the reading task. And after that, I, I want them to, uh, to, to lead the activity and then to share the experience, their personal experience and co collaborate to, together to find a template to describe the, the, those experiences. And they're working towards that activity in a very mindful way. Uh, they lead people think and brainstorm and then note down and discuss and um, make it in a, in a strategy that they reflect and then they try to listen to each other and they apply the strategies of active listening, mindful listening, and then show the empathy. So that's what my students are doing at the moment. And they are helping me to lead the classroom at the moment. And they, they've just um, informed me that they, they are coming to the end because the, the deadline is in seven minutes. Yeah. At four, they will submit their, uh, their, their writing. And they, they say that they are working towards this and they feel happy because they have the chance to work alone, but together without the, the presence of the teacher and they're happy with that. So I, I know that um, when they, they feel confident with what they are doing and they know the way to do it so they can lead the activity and I'm here with you. Yeah, it yeah, is my you. pleasure. Yeah, thank you so much. That's 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 brilliant. You are our speakers today from ULIS have so definitely so the seat of mindfulness in in tertiary education, and we we really hope that we can trust you in your training or sharing sessions in the future. Thank you so much. Yes. Um. Okay. Uh. Our dear participant, do you have any question for our speaker today? Okay, uh, mm, yeah, we have uh, a participant ask Dr. Dr. Nguyễn Thị Thông Thơm, what subject are you teaching? Um, I'm teaching um, English for social purposes in our university. We have English for social purposes and English for academic purposes. But the subject that I'm mentioning is English for social purposes. So we help the students to communicate English, uh, using English. Yes, yes, all right, thank you. And okay, once more time, our dear participants, if you have any question for the, uh, for the speaker today, you, uh, you please don't hesitate to ask our speaker. We can have some more minutes left for the QA session. Mm 
so Excuse if you do me, not Mr. have can I have a question for the uh, for the audience today yes okay yes thank you uh miss um, okay, thank you. Okay. um ladies and gentlemen it is our pleasure to be here in this afternoon and sharing with you the um, the things that we have been doing um, the privilege that we are enjoying, the blessing that we are enjoying in the work that we are doing. And I hope that um, we, we have transferred to you our enthusiasm, um, our devotion for the thing that we are doing. And I want to ask you how, um, how we have touched you. If you feel that Oh, mindfulness is something interesting. Please type number one. Mindfulness is something that I want to try. Please type number two. And mindfulness is something that I want to apply to my work and my life. Please type number three. So interesting, number one. We'll try number two and we'll apply number three. Wow, I have one, two, three, and one. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> Oh, yeah. a lot of one, two, three, and a lot of three. Thank you so much. And um, oh, thank you. Um, thank you for your kindness and thank you for your attention. I am, I am so happy and delighted with your kind answering. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So I think towards the end here, uh, we would like to offer you with some uh, songs. Dr. Hang, uh, what kind of songs we uh, can, some music we can uh, offer to our participants at all. Goodbye now. What song? Oh, I cannot hear you. Oh, which school of meditation is this from? Uh, no. No. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I will play a song now. And um, the meaning of the song is our philosophy here. But who Yes. I mean understanding and love. ta từ bốn phương trời chỉ em ta từ khắp năm châu không phân biệt màu da tôn giáo cùng về đây xây đắp yêu thương yêu và thương yêu và thương có điều mới có thương yêu càng sâu thương càng rộng
Yes. Okay. Thank you, our uh, uh, speaker and our own the participant in our sessions. Now, uh, I would like to invite all of you, our speaker and our uh, participant. You please uh, turn on your camera. We are going to invite you. We are going to have a, a, to take a photo together. Please turn on your camera. Thank you. That's so nice. Okay, so now one, one, two, three, cheese. Yeah, okay. Thank you, our dear speaker and our participant. Uh, we are so glad that you join us today. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, yeah, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.